Ever wondered how gardening can play a pivotal role in a child's growth and development? Well, let's delve into that. Gardening is more than just a fun pastime. It's a gateway to a world of learning. It encourages children to engage in outdoor activities, providing a refreshing break from the screen-filled world we live in. When children get their hands dirty, they're not just playing in the soil, they're engaging in tactile learning. They're grasping the concept of cause and effect, as they plant seeds and watch them grow. They're understanding the intricate interplay of ecosystems as they observe bugs and birds in their garden. They're recognizing different plant species, enhancing their knowledge of the world around them. Moreover, gardening fosters a profound connection with nature, teaching children to respect and care for the environment. It's an enriching journey of discovery, curiosity, and growth. So remember, Gardening is not just a hobby, but an enriching experience that helps children learn and grow. Embark on a delightful journey by creating a butterfly garden with your child. Today we're going to explore the magical world of fluttering wings and vibrant colors by planting a butterfly garden. This project is not only a fun activity but also a fantastic way for children to learn about the life cycle of butterflies and their crucial role in pollination. To begin, you'll need a selection of plants that attract butterflies. These can include milkweed, butterfly bush, and marigolds, among others. Prioritize native plants that are naturally adapted to your local environment and that local butterflies favor. Now let's get our hands dirty. Start by preparing the soil. Loosen it up with a garden fork, then enrich it with organic matter like compost or well-rotted manure. This gives your plants the best possible start and ensures they'll provide a lush, nourishing habitat for our winged friends. Next, dig a hole that is twice as wide and just as deep as the root ball of your plant. Place the plant in the hole, making sure the top of the root ball is level with the soil surface. Backfill the hole, firming the soil gently around the plant. Repeat this process for each plant, spacing them adequately to allow for growth. Once the plants are in place, give them a good watering. This settles the soil around the roots and helps the plants to establish quickly. In the following weeks, keep the soil evenly moist but not waterlogged. As your plants grow and bloom, they'll start to attract butterflies, providing a beautiful spectacle and a hands-on learning experience. Children can observe the different stages of the butterfly life cycle, from egg to caterpillar, then chrysalis, and finally, the adult butterfly. They can also learn about the important role butterflies play in pollination, transferring pollen from one flower to another, helping plants to produce fruit and seeds. With this project, children not only create a beautiful garden but also learn about the fascinating world of butterflies. So let's get planting and welcome these delightful creatures into our gardens. Add a fun twist to gardening by creating a pizza herb garden. Imagine being able to pluck fresh herbs right from your backyard, each of them a vital ingredient in your favorite pizza. That's the beauty of a pizza herb garden. It's not just a collection of plants, it's a culinary adventure waiting to happen right in your backyard. Let's dive into the steps to create this pizza-flavored oasis. First, you need to choose your herbs. The classic pizza herbs include basil, oregano, rosemary, and thyme. But don't let tradition limit you. Feel free to experiment with other herbs like parsley, chives, or even mint. Each herb adds its own unique flavor, transforming the pizza from a simple meal to an explosion of flavors. Next, let's talk about planting. Herbs are generally easy to grow. You can start them from seeds or buy small plants from your local nursery. Plant the herbs in a sunny spot, preferably where they can get at least six hours of sunlight every day. Make sure to give each herb enough space to grow and spread out. Now, on to caring for your pizza herb garden. Herbs thrive in well-drained soil, so avoid overwatering. A good rule of thumb is to water when the top inch of soil feels dry. Prune your herbs regularly to encourage bushy growth and keep them from becoming leggy. Creating a pizza herb garden is also an educational journey. As children plant and care for herbs, they learn about different herb varieties and their unique characteristics. This hands-on experience can also inspire curiosity about how these herbs contribute to our health and wellness. For instance, did you know that basil is packed with antioxidants, or that rosemary can improve digestion? Let's not forget the joy of cooking with herbs you've grown yourself. It's an immensely satisfying experience to see the fruits of your labor enhance the flavor of your homemade pizza. With a pizza herb garden, children can have fun while gaining valuable knowledge about herbs and their culinary uses. Teach your child about recycling and sustainability by making a simple compost bin. The magic of composting lies in its simplicity and the profound lessons it imparts. Let's dive right into it. To start, you'll need a container. An old plastic bin or a wooden crate works perfectly. 
Drill a few holes on the sides and the bottom for aeration. Now, what goes into our compost bin? It's all about balancing green and brown materials. Green materials are rich in nitrogen and include items like vegetable peels, fruit scraps, and coffee grounds. Brown materials on the other hand are carbon rich and include things like dried leaves, straw, and shredded paper. The rule of thumb here is to layer your materials. Start with a layer of brown, then add a layer of green and so on. Remember to keep the compost moist, but not waterlogged. A compost pile should have the consistency of a wrung out sponge. Turning the compost helps speed up the process and prevents odors. Use a garden fork or a shovel to mix the layers every few weeks. In a couple of months the bottom of your pile should transform into a dark crumbly material, rich in nutrients. That's your compost ready to feed your garden. But how does this process benefit our garden? Compost enriches the soil, helps retain moisture, and suppresses plant diseases. It also reduces the need for chemical fertilizers, promoting a healthier environment. Now let's talk about the educational aspects. Composting teaches children about the cycle of life, waste management, and the importance of sustainability. It cultivates an understanding of how waste can be transformed into something useful, fostering a sense of responsibility towards our environment. And there's more. It's not just about what composting can teach us, but also about the life skills it imparts. Patience, observation and responsibility are just a few of the virtues children can develop while tending to a compost bin. Making a compost bin is a great way for children to learn about the importance of recycling and sustainability. Let's ensure that every gardening session is a safe and enjoyable experience for your child. As we dive into the world of gardening with our young ones, it's crucial to keep their safety and interest at the forefront. First, choose the right tools. Kid-friendly gardening tools are smaller, lighter, and designed with safety in mind. They should be durable enough to withstand enthusiastic digging, but not so sharp as to cause harm. Next, consider the plants you want to introduce to your kids. Opt for plants that are safe to touch and non-toxic if ingested. Sunflowers, marigolds, or snapdragons are great choices. They're bright, fun, and easy to grow, perfect for sparking a child's interest. To make gardening educational, instill a sense of responsibility by assigning them their own garden patch. Let them choose the plants they want to grow, teach them how to care for them, and watch their sense of accomplishment bloom alongside their plants. To keep the fun alive, turn gardening tasks into games. Who can weed their patch the fastest? Who can find the most bugs? These little competitions can make mundane tasks exciting. And let's not forget about the creatures in the garden. Encourage their curiosity about insects, birds, and other garden dwellers. This not only makes gardening more interesting but also deepens their connection with nature and understanding of ecosystems. Finally, remember to keep it relaxed. If a plant dies or a flower doesn't bloom, turn it into a learning opportunity rather than a failure. Gardening is a process, and it's okay if things don't go perfectly. By keeping these tips in mind, gardening can become a wonderful bonding experience that's as fun as it is educational. It encourages children to engage with the world around them in a hands-on, meaningful way, fostering a lifelong love for nature and the environment. Remember, a child's safety and enjoyment are paramount in every gardening session. Let's recap the fun and educational garden projects we've discussed today. First, we dove into the enchanting world of butterflies by creating a butterfly garden, a project that teaches kids about the life cycle of these beautiful creatures and the importance of biodiversity. Then we cooked up some fun with a pizza herb garden. This project not only introduces kids to various herbs, but also gets their taste buds excited about the fruits of their labor. We also dug into the nitty-gritty of composting, creating a simple compost bin. It's a hands-on way for children to learn about decomposition, recycling, and the vital role they play in our ecosystem. Lastly, we shared some tips on making gardening a safe and enjoyable experience for kids. Remember, the garden is a classroom where every plant, every bug, and every handful of soil can teach invaluable lessons. Gardening with kids is not just about planting seeds. It's about sowing the seeds of knowledge, curiosity, and a lifelong love for nature. 